This is how you can make a timeout and untimeout command for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you are interested in the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can get it by joining my channel memberships or a Discord subscription over on Discord. If you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier on YouTube, you will get access to that source code, and over on Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will get access to that source code as well. And of course, on either platform, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this seems interesting to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this, and let's go ahead and get started with the video. To start off, we're going to go to moderation, and we can go ahead and create timeout.js. And here we can do const, and we're going to get slash command builder, we can get embed builder, and we can get permissions bit field, and we can do equals require, and we're going to get discord.js. We can then do module.exports equals, we can open this up, data, we'll do new, slash command builder. We're going to go ahead and set a name, and this is going to be timeout. Then we can set a description, and for our description, we can say times out a server member and then we can add a user option and this will be option arrow function option dot set name and this can be user and then we can do dot set description and this is going to be the user you want to time out and we can make this required so set required and that will be true we can add a string option so we can do option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be duration and then we can do dot set required and it's going to be true and then we can do dot set description and this is going to be the duration of the timeouts and then we can actually do dot add choices and then we can go ahead and open this up and here we're going to go ahead and get our name and this is going to be 60 seconds and the value is going to be equal to 60. Now we can actually go ahead and copy this because we're going to put this in a couple of more times so we can go ahead and paste it down here and we're actually going to replace this with two minutes and this is going to be 120. We can go ahead and paste it again. One more thing is make sure you add commas as well so we can go ahead and copy and paste it again. We can make this five minutes and for our value we're going to make this 300. We can go ahead and paste it again. This can be 10 minutes and for our value this is going to be 600 next we can do 15 minutes and our value is going to be 900 we can go ahead and paste this again we're going to go ahead and make this 20 minutes and our value is going to be 1 200 next we can do 30 minutes and that is going to be 1 800 then we can do 45 minutes and our value there will be 2 700 then we can do one hour and that is going to be 3 600 now we're going to do two hours and two hours is going to be 7 200 then we can do three hours. For three hours, that's going to be 10, 800. And we're going to do five hours. And this is actually going to be 18,000. Now we can do 10 hours. And for 10 hours, we're just going to go ahead and get three, six, thousand now we're going to go ahead and get one day and one day is going to be eight six four hundred now we're going to get two days and that is going to be one seven two eight hundred now we're going to get three days and that will be two five nine two hundred we can get five days and that will be four three two zero 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 and then finally we can go ahead and get one week and then our one week is going to be six zero four eight hundred now keep in mind that these are all of the durations that you could use so you can add more or less than this you can add pretty much as many as you would like just keep in mind the value is the seconds so for example 900 seconds is 15 minutes now we can come down here and add string option again this is going to be option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be reason and then we can go ahead and set a description and this is going to be the reason for timing out the user then we can add a comma we're going to do async execute we can do interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up and here we're going to do const time user equals interaction to options I get user and that is going to be user then we can do const time member equals wait interaction dot guild dot members dot fetch and we're going to get time user dot id now we can do const duration equals interaction dot options dot get string and that is going to be duration now we can do if no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has we can do permissions bit field dot flags dot moderate members and go ahead and return wait interaction to reply we can say content and then we can say you must have the moderate members perm to use this command and we can go ahead and make this informal next we can do if no time member we can go ahead and return wait interaction dot reply we can say content and we can say the user mentioned is no longer within the server and we can go ahead and make this informal as well and we can do if and we can say no time member dot kickable go ahead and return wait interaction dot reply and we're going to say content and then we can say i cannot time out this user that is because either their role or themselves 
are above me, just like that. And then we can make this infernal. Then we can say if interaction.member.id equals 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 time member.id. We can go ahead and return wait interaction.apply. We're gonna say content and we can say you cannot time out yourself. And we can make this informal. We can say if time member dot permissions has and we're gonna do permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator. We can go ahead and return await interaction dot reply. We can say content and we can say you cannot time out a person with uh, admin permission, and we can make this informal as well. Now that we're done with our logical statements, we can actually go ahead and time this member out. So we can do wait time member dot timeouts, and we're gonna get duration multiplied by, and we can get 1000. And then we can do comma and we're gonna pass in our reason. Now we can make both of our embeds. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we can go ahead and set a color and this is going to be blue. We can go ahead and set a description and we can do white check mark. And then we can go ahead and say time user that tag has been and then we can bold this timed out. And then we can say four and we're gonna get duration divided by 60. And we can say minutes. Then we do a pipe and we're gonna pass in our reason. Now we can actually go ahead and copy this and we're gonna go ahead and paste it down here. This is going to be our DM embed. Now we can actually go ahead and remove all of this and we're gonna say you have been timed out in and then we can do interaction.guild.name. Then we can say you can check the status of your timeout within the server. And then we can do our reason variable just like that. So one other thing is right up here, we're gonna do let reason equals interaction to options that get string. And this is going to be reason, and then we can do the or, and we can say no reason given, just like that. So now we actually have a reason variable that we can use. So we can do await time member dot send, and we're gonna do embeds, and we can do dm embed, and then we can just go ahead and catch an error, and we can go ahead and open this up. We're just gonna go ahead and return, just in case the member has their dms off, and then we can do await interaction dot apply, and we can do embeds, and then we can get our embed just like that. So now we're done with the actual timeout command. So now we can go ahead and copy this all, and we're gonna make a untimeout timeout.js command as well. So you can go back over to moderation and we're going to do untimeout.js. In here we can go ahead and paste everything. So right here we're actually going to go ahead and remove our duration string to start off. Now we can go ahead and change this to untimeout and we can say untimes out and then we can say the user you would like to untimeout and then we can say untiming out a user here as well for our reason. Now we're actually going to go ahead and delete our duration. Now right here we can say I cannot untimeout this user and then you can say you cannot untimeout yourself and then you can say you cannot untimeout a person with the admin permission. So now in here, instead of passing in all of this information, we can just pass in null and then we can pass in reason. And then in here, we're gonna delete all of this and we can say time user dot tag. And then we can say S timeout has been removed. And then we can do our reason. And then in here, we're gonna do a similar thing. We can say you have been untimed out in, and we can say interaction.guild.name. And then we can just go ahead and pass in our reason as well. And that's actually all we have to do for this command and the timeout.js command. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in our Discord server, we can go ahead and test this out by doing slash timeouts. And we can go ahead and put this. And I'm just going to go ahead and get the moderated nickname or my alt account. And we can go from 60 seconds to one week as specified in the duration option within our code. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose 60 seconds and I'm just gonna go ahead and pass in a test reason. So as you can see here, it's gonna say the user has been timed out for one minute and or one minute. And if we go ahead and check the timeout, as you can see, they have one minute on their timeout. So now we can actually go ahead and test out our untimeout command. So we can do untimeout and we're just gonna go ahead and get our moderated nickname. And then we can just go ahead and send it. As you can see, it's gonna go ahead and say their timeout has been removed. If we go ahead and right click on that user it's going to go ahead and say that there is no timeout now we can go ahead and test this out again for a longer duration we'll actually go up to one week so we can get that alt account and we're going to go up to one week and we can just leave that blank. As you can see, it's gonna go ahead and say the user has been timed out for that many minutes, which is one week. And over on the alt account, as you can see here, it's gonna go ahead and say that I've been timed out for seven days. And if we go ahead and check it here, it will say that same amount of time there. We can now go ahead and untime out this member and we'll go ahead and get that member. And we can just go ahead and send it. And as you can see, the timeout is now gone. So that's how you can make a timeout and untimeout command for a discord.js version 14 bot. If this worked for you, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. If this didn't and you need any help, go ahead and join the server in the description below. And it might as well join anyways because it's a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.